what do you love best about film and is it making them, is it producing them, is it um, you know, exhibiting them, is it helping teaching others to make films. So there's a lot of opportunity um, and I think it's a really exciting field and obviously um, a prolific field. Specializing in something is really good rather than just trying to do everything like figuring out one thing you want to do and doing it really well. Um, at the same time being open to exploring different opportunities within the whole uh, art form. Uh, Alright, this is a test. Test one, two. I don't know what I'm doing. Test, I guess. Oh, cut. I pitched the idea in at the end of October to film the purchasing of movie madness by Hollywood Theater. Save Movie Madness and we take it over on January 1st. But after being told by the Movie Madness staff that they weren't doing any publicity stuff, I panicked a little. Just a, just a little bit. So, now I'm filming me. Talking about what docu making a documentary is like. This is going to be fun. I'm Gavin. The most memorable of the productions you've put me in is easily the, the Batman one, um, where, where I had to fight Batman dressed as a horse, horse bane. Uh, that was really fun. Are you gonna have B-roll of all of this? But that was fun. That was, it's really interesting. You've, you've been kind of doing film stuff as long as I've known you. Uh, and I've been doing acting stuff. And, um, I've also been a camera person for you for the last, like, gazillion years. I like holding cameras and clicking buttons. I'm good at it. If you ever need someone to click a button for you, I'm here. Got done filming Gavin after we changed the subject of the documentary. Um, after I talked with Adam about what we were going to do. So, then I got this email from Doug White who is responsible for the uh, purchasing of Movie Madness by Hollywood Theater. And in this email, he says, I would be happy to do an interview for your documentary. When would you like to do it? Best, Doug White, Executive Director, Hollywood Theater, Portland's historic nonprofit theater. Nice. My uh, name is Doug White. I'm the Executive Director of the Hollywood Theater and now Movie Madness as well. You don't know where it's gonna lead, right? You have, the, you have, I always say actually when you're making a documentary like that, there's three different films that you make. It's the film that you plan that you're gonna make. Um, then there's a film that you actually shoot. Um, and then there's a film that you edit, which is, ends up being totally different than any of the three that you've thought of before. So what I liked most about making films and documentaries is it gave me access to things I normally wouldn't have. Like, right, if you weren't making a, making a documentary right now and you just called me up and said, hey, Doug, will you take 20 minutes or an hour and can I just talk to you? I don't know if I would have had time, right? But you're making a film, you bring a camera, people will open their doors to you. Um, and that happened, so I'd pick things that I was interested in and had I knocked on their door without a camera, they wouldn't open the door, but I show up with a camera on my shoulder and they let me in and I get to hang out with them for like five years. Um, so that to me was really exciting and it was sort of my excuse uh, you know, to, to knock on people's doors and, and talk to people that normally wouldn't talk to me. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this. What are we doing? Well, I'm filming you looking at my stuff. All right. Looking at all the natural reactions. Okay, so where is uh, your footage? My footage is in a premiere a little bit here. 
under the footage folder. Okay. There's a little bit of it, and I 100% I guarantee we're going to go through all of it. <laughs> I'm glad that my misery is so entertaining to you. Okay. That for 10 minutes. Okay. And that's me talking about the email I got from Doug White. Uh, four times because it's hard to do things by yourself. Also, you notice I'm wearing a different robe. <laughs> okay, who's this? Like That's Doug White. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing about this shot, by the way. This is the only, literal only place we could film this because Hollywood Theater was full of people, and it is the darkest room they have. It works with Hollywood Theater. This is the brightest spot in the whole room. So yeah, that's what I got. This is awesome. Thanks. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. You're kind of, it's like, uh, Considering it's just me. I know. And you're kind of improvising where you need to improvise. You want to know what the story title of my film is, awesome. is, Adam? It's literally called Improvise. Hi, my name is Adam Souza. I teach video production at Franklin High School in Portland, Oregon. The class is completely designed for students to create a 10 to 15 minute documentary film in the first semester and then uh, to create a 10 to 15 minute short narrative film in the second semester. So um, it's, it's one of my favorite classes because um, I, spent, I spend the first part of the semester really just preparing students to get ready to, um, uh, you know, to shoot B-roll and how to do an interview and what questions to ask and really focus on the story of, of documentary. And then, and then like get right, get um, then just to jump right in and start creating documentaries. So students um, have to compete uh, to, they have to write pitches and then pitch to the class um, and then all the class votes on those um, story ideas that, that the students have and then we decide which documentaries that we're going to do. And then I have every single day scheduled um, for the whole semester uh, for students to be able to have the time to dedicate to working on these um, huge pieces that they need to complete. Hello, um, boys and girls. It is I, your director, here for, um, uh, if you can see the screen, which I have no idea if you can or not, uh, editing me will let you know, oh my gosh. Future me will let me know. But basically what's happening here is me suffering part two. Oh, there is none as editing. It looks like on the screen, like the E from otherwise went over into known and the W went off into space. <coughs> That's not my mouse. This is. So, this is the editing phase. And it sucks. For some people, it's cool. Um, and for others, it's hell. So yeah, um, Adam is somewhere, I think. I need, I need to film him too, for B-roll, for um, the interview with Adam. But uh, I gotta do a lot of stuff here. How loud, oh, that's real loud. <laughs> that's why my ears hurt so bad. Editing is interesting, and I'm not sure what I'm doing now, much like all the other interviews I've done with myself. But you may or may not be noticing the sharp, sharp difference in audio levels. Um, hold on, let me see if I can like increase this at all. Man, this is garbage. This is kind of stressful, but not that bad. My birthday was yesterday. Please help me. I gotta film the Hollywood Theater B-roll after school, and then I gotta reshoot something uh, if it's really that that bad, and then I gotta do an interview with myself later. So that's gonna be uh, absolute, oh, oh, it's absolute garbage. Uh, how long have I been recording for? Five minutes? Oh, that's too long. That's that's too long. Oh, cut it. Cut it. I'm full of despair. Uh, 
I got cut off in the middle of my inspiring words. Which sucks. Most well, because I don't have anyone at the other end of that camera keeping, keeping me in check and interviewing me. So I'm just rambling. Basically, the final things I'm gonna say are this. Make a movie. It's an interesting experience. It won't, be, it won't necessarily be a fun one, but you, you can at least say you did it. I certainly can. And if I can get people like you to watch it, I'm one step closing to being a billionaire. I'm not gonna lie, that last interview kinda tired me out, so. <laughs> you know, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.47. That is uh, 13 minutes away from my bedtime. Uh, sorry, Dad, we couldn't get to watch Star Trek tonight. Director, out. All right, we're set to go. So, let's start with some basic stuff. 